So, Mike, what gems, pearls of wisdom did you have from reading God's Word this morning? Well, we've just read a few times this passage in Second Corinthians chapter 4, 1 to 7. And the, the glory of Christ shining into our hearts. So the, the surpassing power is in us. It's the treasure of, of His righteousness, of grace that we've received from Him. And here we are in this park. People, eyes need to be open to see that glory. And we believe that prayer and blessing is how we're going to be led by the Holy Spirit, yes. unlock that door. And Jesus is knocking on every door in this neighborhood for the light to come in. So we have to open that the God of this world has blinded their eyes. So as we focus in on the glory of Christ in us, He alone defeats the God of this world and His light shines. Yes. So we're at this table here and it is West Parkway Reserve. And right here on this spot, uh, a couple of African sisters from different countries have sat. They've had communion together, they've blessed the neighborhood, they've worshipped. And then earlier this week, I sat here with a, an African sister, an Asian brother, uh, a Persian brother, a New Zealand background brother, myself. And, and we were here and sensing that the answer to the hostility in every heart is Jesus himself. He becomes our peace. Mm. And we've been in these neighborhoods now for some time. We want to keep coming because the river is flowing. Yes. And it's a river of the peace that passes understanding that is Jesus himself. Amen. Who breaks down the wall of hostility mm. by the cross, nailing all the hatred to the cross mm. and his blood being shed for the forgiveness of sin mm. for everyone here. So that's why David and I are here. We're just catching the aroma of his presence, the wind of that fragrance blowing. We're just not sure if we should go and knock on some doors here or go and knock on some doors of people we've met in the past. But we do want to bless yeah. those that we know by name yeah. who live in these neighborhoods yes. uh, that Jesus alone would meet their needs, yeah. that we'd be part of meeting those needs. The greatest need is a gift of salvation. In Jesus' name, then the gift of belonging to the family, to the body, to the building, uh, to be worshippers together with others who worship Jesus in their neighborhoods and blessing and loving their neighbors. Amen. Amen. Uh, any, any impressions, David? Well, I just saw lots of cars around and I thought it's, uh, it seems to be a bit mobile, so I'm, I'm actually. An awareness and acceptance of others in the community. I, I think sometimes we can be so mobile when this is around. I don't know if that's like it here, but if it's anything like East Parkway, we know, you know people are coming out to have barbecues with, have the barbecue with each other. And and also, there's a, I heard a little bit of shouting, so peace in our homes peace in our homes, awareness and acceptance of others in the community.